This chapter of the Men's Divorce Survival Guide is on seeking support. I'll share some of the options available to you locally or online, and the ones that I relied on as well. I was fortunate to have people in my life who helped me back up when I was down. And different forms of support are available to everyone. If you have access, you might consider talking to a therapist, or friends you can confide in. Maybe your friend sided with your ex. You might lean on family members instead. If you don't have family members, or you're estranged from them, or they're, they're not going to be a part of the healing process, you can usually find help with a pastor or a priest, regardless of your religious beliefs. Each state in the U.S. also has crisis call lines that you can call for free whenever you need. If you're more interested in seeking help online, a variety of divorce forums exist to support both an emotional help, to provide, rather, both an emotional outlet and support. You may not need them right now, but at some point you may feel overwhelmed and you'll need a healthy outlet rather than taking it out on yourself, someone else, or the drywall. It's the best time to use one of these resources. The night that I found out I'd be getting a divorce, my best friend John brought me a bottle of Tito's and a bag of pistachios, and he talked with me for about three hours. I spoke to John's dad every night for four months on the phone. In fact, it, it might have been closer to six. He gave me a well-deserved kick in the ass over the phone when I was wallowing in the past for too long. He made sure I was as close to whole again as I could be before the calls became less frequent. I'll be grateful until my dying day for his support. And I was also incredibly lucky to have my older brother David's support, and he talked me through my most, my most embarrassing and regrettable moments. At one point, I reached out to the VA crisis support line. They didn't help much, but I wasn't really at risk of suicide, so maybe I wasn't the target demographic. I talked to a mental health counselor once a week for about four months, and I was fortunate to have people who loved and supported me and who were willing to travel to see me and spend time with me. The evening that I was confronted with the divorce that I would go through was the darkest and most painful of my life. Talking to people who loved me and were willing to listen helped me through the worst of things. You likely need someone to share good news and bad with, someone to celebrate your accomplishments with you and champion you on your journey. Reaching out for help is the best thing that you can do for yourself when your life is falling apart. You might not have met the person who's going to help you pick up the pieces, but if you start to look for them, you will. I hope this was helpful. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, and certainly reach out for help.